All right, so today's video, we are back with another Funny Moments video. It's been really cool to see that the first two episodes of this people have really enjoyed, which I've been really, really happy with. So I hope that uh, you you keep, you know, hope you, you're enjoying these. This Funny Moments video will be the last one in this current patch before we're into Season 9. So if this video is out before Season 9 and you want to submit stuff, just submit it on my Discord, but I want after Season 9 because replay codes reset anytime there's a new patch. But yeah, uh, if you look at my Discord, you'll you'll see the Funny Moments area, a description there, and all that. Uh, it's been awesome to see and I hope you enjoy these seriously subscribe to the YouTube if you haven't and it's time it's video time we're watching a Genji who's playing a bit of quick play here and says me and the enemy Genji decide to play some hot potato with a sleep dart let's find out oh wait is the Ana gonna deflect the, the sleep in the back ha! so what happened right that was awesome so what happened right there by the way as, as a starter Basically, the Genji deflected the sleep dart, but then that Genji deflected the sleep dart back, so they just, they slept the Genji. Slept the Genji. See? But they kept deflecting it back and forth. So once it finally got to whoever Genji deflected second, ended up getting the sleep. <laughs> At least if I can get this, like, slowed down to, like... There you go. So there's the sleep dart. Now they're back and forth deflecting it. That's what the deflect is. Right? But then the Genji's deflect was over first. So the second deflect got the sleep. This is why I love the funny moments video is because things like this we don't normally see in spectating. We may not catch that. So like this is why I love this video series. It's because you get to see these really cool moments that like you just don't normally see. Or like don't recognize when I'm watching a spectator happen. Okay, so now we have a diamond comp game uh, where we get to watch this Ana. Now the Ana says they were being hunted down by the soldier. Just the soldier 76 on the other team. But then their entire team got off the point to save them and it didn't go well. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so there's the Soldier 76. I, need help. I like how you... <laughs> oh no! Yep, and exactly what happened happened. They all got off the point to go and help the Ana, so they lost the point because the Ana was saying I need help. Wait, does the Soldier 76 get away? Oh my. And the Soldier 76 gets away. I cannot believe that. That whole sequence turns into you losing the point and the Soldier 76 gets away, which if you see my spectating sometimes, I mentioned some of the best play styles of Soldier 76 is just being there and then running away. Love to see it. Okay, so in this one, we have a Bronze 4 Mercy uh, Farah, and they said that the Mercy uh, had a bit of a... A problem in the first part of this game. So we're going to see what it is. So obviously they're, they're pocketing the Farah who submitted this. Oh no. Yeah, oh, oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, this is a classic. This is a classic. You think anybody's gonna save that Mercy? I don't think so. <laughs> right away, I, I knew exactly what was coming. You could see right when they went on the outside of the map and nobody even remotely. I try my best to save Mercies when that happens, right? But then sometimes you don't know what's happening and then that's what happens. And that's an absolute classic that can happen in ranked games. Okay, so in this game, we have a Silver 3, Rhine vs. Bastion here. Let's go see what the Rhine's up to, is basically where we're at. I mean, that's just a good play. Can I, mean, can I be honest with you? No! No, no, no. Listen, that is a great moment. But let me tell you, that's a good play. Why? You want to know why? L look at the kill feed. They have two minutes rather than waste an extra 20 seconds and feed L charge. They charge off the map to reset with the team. They're not going to win that. They're not going to win that. They're, they're resetting to go back and start the team fight. That's why. It's a funny moment, but that's why they did that. That's why I'm saying it's actually ended up being a good play. That's why, like, sometimes it's, like, better to die on the cart and, and like, reset than to sit there and feed L charge. All right, what do we got now? This is an unranked game, and it's, they said it's best seen through the Mercy... POV. Let's find out what happens. Yep. How did it wait? <laughs> wait, wait. I get the mercy reset, but how the what happened to the soldier 76? Ah! 
Listen, you know, sometimes it happens, okay? We've we've all been there, right? Listen, we've all we've all been there. Oh, I love that. All right, what do we got next? A mischief and magic moment. Hey, you know what? Why not? They describe this as this moment was amazing, just watch. Oh wow, that's a good spot. I've got a few tricks. Wait, that's a good spot. Watch your step. Yo, wait, that's a good spot. If I play that again, I, I know where to go. Because they went for him and they just stunned him off the map. That's great. Uh, this one is in a gold two comp game. And it says, you would think the boop into the high noon was amazing. But continue watching as D.Va does something interesting when she heard a Bastion ult on overtime. Okay, let's see. I'm watching. Wait for it. Wait, does this diva get off the point? You know, we may have been able... <laughs> By the way, everybody, you can eat the Bastion Eldest Diva. You know, the first one, you could have argued the song, this one. Could have easily touched the point. All right. In this one, we have a Kiriko in a quick play game who says, next time they might think twice about being the one to push payload. Let's see what happens. Incoming. Look at this payload. Go. Hello. Wow. Wow. This is thrilling. Thank you. This is, this is, thank you. This is wonderful. No, you know this character's getting one shot in about five seconds. Death talks for no one. Wait for it. There it is. Yep, saw that coming. Yep, knew that was coming from a mile away. 100%. There's no way they were going to just show us pushing the cart the whole way through. You knew at one point they were falling over. All right, so in this game, we have uh, Sigma, who says that they have a um, an interaction with Junkrat. So I'm just going to see what it is. I have no idea. Let's find out. Barrier unsuccessful. That was a rock. Yep. See you off the map, Junkrat. That, I, yep. See you later. Oh, yeah. Wait, what did I miss? Oh, it wasn't the junk rat. Wait a second. I know what it was. <laughs> it wasn't the junk rat, it was that. There we go, it took a second, I had to find it. I saw in the kill feed, I'm like, what happened with the junk rat? But then I saw the sojourn right off the map. All right, what do we got next here? In this game, we have uh, Ana in a quick play game. Usually go through when they play support and they say this is just a wholesome moment between Ana players. Let's find out what happens. What is that junk rat doing? No, get that junk rat. That's what they get. <laughs> no, no, the beach ball, Mercy. The Mercy ruined it. And they made it back together again. Oh no, it may! No! No! 
Oh, nice purple. Wow, that actually turned into a good play. I just wanted to watch what happened. Wow, you won that. You know what? It was good to see some some friendly on a gameplay right there. What else can I say? Wonderful, wonderful. We're gonna be watching the Cassidy who says they got a crazy 5K, and then the Moira said something, and you'll see what I did. So I'm I'm gonna give it a go. We'll see. Here we go. First of all, how in the world did you get away with that? That's the first question. How in what world does that high noon work? You know, I, I kind of saw that coming, but the, the, the more impressive part to me in all of those moments is how that high noon even worked. All right, we're watching a gold one Anna, and the description of this is funny. Okay, let's see what happens. I won't let you fall. Yep, yep, good to see. That's a classic. Also, how did the Bastion not get credit? Like, how did nobody get credit for that? How did that happen? I think somebody else booped the Bastion when that sleep happened. Or it was the momentum of the sleep. One thing I've realized recently, by the way, is that, like, sometimes... There's, like, this, like... I don't know if they added it recently, but there's, like, this new momentum where you go flying up into the air. So, like, watch. Like... Yeah, I have no idea. No, wait, the Bastion shot their rocket? I see what happened. The Bastion shot their rocket at the same time. So as they shot it, it launched them off the map with the sleep. And that's how it happened. <laughs> this one is a quick play, but usually this, this uh, Lucio is a plat four. And the description of this is it's an S tier ended. Let's find out. Why does it say stop the payload? I got so good. <laughs> oh no! Wait a second, why? Oh my! Why did they pull the Genji? I I'm so confused. The Genji had to use dash to get back, so watch. The Genji uses dash to get back to the point when they recognize what's happened, so they don't have dash. The Life Weaver goes, oh, the Genji's right there. Let me pull them. I, I, I can't believe that. I, I can't believe that one. That is, that, I, I, I just, I, why? Okay, so this one is a plat three comp game. Um, and the Ana says that the Ash dived into our back line and I yelled for help in voice chat, but no one came. So I had to take matters into my own hands. We'll see. It's also a 1v1 as a support, which I mean, I actually, I, I think the, the Ash is probably more afraid of this 1v1 than you are. Now, one thing I will say, by the way, first of all, wonderful play. I just realized, though, this 1v1 gets a lot more interesting with the new passive coming, right? Now, we don't know how long it's going to take for them to get the passive. It's probably not going to be the same as the support one. But in theory, I think Ash would have healed almost full HP right there. That's going to be interesting. But yeah, that was quite the 1v1. You weren't wrong about that one. All right, so in this one, we have a gold comp game uh, where we have a, a Genji who says, Genji did a deflect that surprised everyone, including themselves. Wait, are you saying that? Oh, you're the Mercy in here, and the Genji is on your team. Okay, this makes a lot more sense. Okay, here we go. It, uh, well, this is going to be a good mail for your team. That's, I, I, I do like that deflect. See, like, those are the plays that are the best where that Genji had absolutely zero intention of deflecting that. 
And then the May was like, you know what? I feel bad you didn't get value from that deflect that you randomly used on a Bastion who wasn't even shoot at you. And then gets the whole team with that. Yeah, and, and you were right. Both teams did run away from the May out because they didn't even recognize that. Those are always fun plays and good plays to see. All right, what do we got next? Okay, so we're watching a diamond roll queue or a diamond roll. Okay, so, so they're diamond in quick play. And I'm not going to really spoil this one, but this is just so this is going to be the uh, domino effect of what we call Rialto. Get ready. There goes the Mercy. There goes the Sombra. There goes the Life Weaver. I'll give you a different point of view on that one. You ready? Right, I'll see you later, Mercy. There comes Sombra to help. Bye. Okay, Life Weaver has this. Back up. Up. Oh, and there you go. Welcome to Rialto. <laughs> Every time, I'm telling you. It happens so much. So this is a quick play. Uh, and they're, they're usually on gold. We're going to watch the Jugger Queen's point of view. Uh, and the Jugger Queen has learned how... Uh, has a new ability of phasing through walls. Let's find out what happens. Okay, so my guess is... I think what happens here is your point of view is the... Let me see. Yep. So this is something that I've noticed recently. Hog hook does not really get affected by walls at, before the hook is used, as well as like shields. And I, I don't know if the timing was, let me see if I can see this. See? So like normally what would happen is the May wall would stop this, right? But recently shields would stop it, etc. And now it's just like if you hook them before a wall goes up or like a shield is like there, it doesn't matter. It, it will watch. Like what? If I put this like slower, watch. In theory, that should stop it, right? You see what I'm saying? Like right there you go, okay, the hook's gonna break. But watch. See? Hi! Like, I'll play Sigma, and I'll put my shield down, like, at a really good timing, and then I get pulled through it anyway. This one is just basically unfortunate timing for Lucio. And this is also in a gold 5, I think, rank game? Let's find out. Unfortunate timing for the Lucio. <laughs> hey, it was worth, though, okay? Listen, I didn't know what to expect, but hey, you got the boop, and then you got booped. But who really wins that team fight? Your team, because you're going to win that. Easy. Uh, we got a prop hunt game here. Okay, with this prop hunt one, it says, I don't know if you react to prop hunt stuff, but this is the best clip I've ever gotten on this entire game. So not just, not just prop hunt, the entire game ever. So let's find out what happens. Did no one notice the floating table? I don't understand. Did I miss something? There's just no way. When do you see a giant mining coal thing sitting on the wall? I, I, you know, I get, I get to a certain extent, but like those aren't even things that are on the map half the time. Like I don't, that was, a, I just don't get it. So this one says, have you ever? This one is a uh, quick play gold three game. This also says this is cross play. So basically, quick play can have cross play if both PC and console are queued together. So they said this is a cross-play lobby because they're like playing with people on console and PC. They said, have you ever had a cage fight without a Mauga? This is what it would look like. All right, let's find out. Health pack, please.
got rolled. No, you weren't wrong. You weren't wrong. You just... <laughs> that was something. Oh, that was great. This one is a comp game in Silver 4, and it says it's an insanely timed but unfortunate ending for a hard-fought game. Let's go find out. I have an idea if I know what's going to happen. Y'all are going to push the cart, you think you win, and then you all run off the cart. I'm just going to start doing this now because I know what's going to happen. Get ready. Yep. Oh, yeah. It's Oh, yeah. It, it, it's all set. Let me get the music ready in a second here. Wait, no! <laughs> you know what? That's not even the song! That was amazing! Did you see what happened? So they got May elted, okay? Watch this. They got May elted, and then they got an amazing lamp by the BAP. An amazing lamp by the BAP. The diva ult then launches every single person off the point. Gets zero limbs, but the, look what the ult does. Launches everybody off the point by the diva ult and gets the win. I mean, that's just a good play, and that, that, is, I, that is great. All right, this one is... Okay, we're watching an unranked open queue, and the Mercy says, I was casually damage boosting my soldier when I noticed something happened with the Hanzo and the Orisa. Let's find out. Yeah, right off the map. Right off the map. There's no way the same thing happened twice to the same... That is amazing. You love to see that. Both of them just went right off the map. You love to see it. Holy crap. Okay, so we're watching a Torb and Quick Play saying their gun wasn't working. So, and that's where they leave us at. Let's see what happens. Apparently your hammer wasn't even working either. You missed like every single one there. Oh, if you use your overload, it will it will you can go faster. There's just there you go. You know, like I, I watched that. And the, and the part that confuses me about that whole scenario is how does that even work? Like, I, if I do that as Torb, I'm falling over, right? I can understand Torb goes in there, you have like a 5v1, you know, it's, it's pretty easy. But like, how does that even happen? That's the question. This is a quick play game. And the Reinhardt says, I'm so nice that I looked out for the enemy Mercy by missing all the walls and pinning her back to the safety of her team. Let's find out what happens. The classic, you know, it's it's when you have the uh, the the Reinhardt that's all like oiled up and just and just slides off every wall. But if, if I go up against a Reinhardt, I get pinned against every wall and I, the the pin never misses. Right? Happens all the time. Uh, the Ana in this one says uh, this is also quick play. Says uh, the Genji hated me, but it was totally worth it. So let's find out. Yeah, this Genji's gonna dash the Ana. The Ana's gonna sleep him off the map. Get ready. Hope I didn't spoil it. I've 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 done this before, so I know it's gonna. I mean, I've been in this situation as the Genji. Here we go. It's time! <laughs> You're no longer my problem. I this spot right here is like it, it happens so much. Like I'll I and the reason why I knew that was gonna happen is because I'll be playing Diva and I'll try to fly to go over there and then somehow my defense matrix won't work and I go right off the map. Right down. Happens so many times to me. And it, like it's it, it it's just I I knew it was happening because I've been the Genji in that situation. All right, so this is a quick play roll queue. They're usually around, they, they, they're predicting around uh, a gold MMR. And their description is, sometimes you stumble into an opportunity you can't pass up when you go for the flank. Let's find out. Stop the enemy from advancing. You gone off the map as more that? We've been there. Hmm. So what, what, what is going on here? Are you just pushing the bot the whole way? Oh no. They took you from us. 
does he get two? I, I don't. I, there's no. There's just no way. Uh, how do you get? And I imagine that's where the play stops, but like, how does that get two people? I don't even understand. <laughs> Holy crap, I just, I just don't. Impressive, gotta give him credit. All right, so in this one, okay, if they just said that the game started on accident, I, I, don't, I don't know. This is a, a quick play roll queue. How did the game start on accident? I don't understand. Uh, what, does that, what does that mean? Oh, as the game started, you accidentally blocked your teammates. Well, you can drop your pedal. Like you can, you, you can, you can drop your, you can drop the, pe you can drop the pedal. You just hit the button again. Hit the, hit the. I can't even tell if they're memeing or not that one. It's one of the two. I, I can't tell. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so the Ramatra here says they got pranked by a Roadhog not once but twice, and I already know what this prank is gonna be because this happens to me so much, even in top 500. Are you ready? Yep. The old classic. Happens to me so much. You ready? One more time. Yup, and you go up there and you... Oh, there you go. See you again. Perfect. Absolute. That right there has happened to me so much. I want to point that out. That, that is why I knew right away when they said they were getting pranked by Roadhog and we loaded into Oasis that that was going to happen. All right, for this one, the description is don't mess with the Amaris. So this is going to be Anna and Farah. We'll see what happens. That was a good sleep. That was a really good sleep. Same spot, by the way, too. Same spot. I'm telling you, that spot, it happens so frequently. Like, you don't think it happens a ton, but like, it, I see that happen so many times. All right, this one is a quick play game, and the description of this one is it's, a, it's the Reinhardt Space Program, and it says best feud from the Hanzo perspective. <laughs> so, I, 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 so that tech right there is a. Remember when I did the Life Weaver bingo and people were like, "Hey, are you gonna do like, like do the slingshot tech?" Well, I couldn't get anybody to do it. So I'll show you what the slingshot tech is. Basically, as the, you go up in the air with the Life Weaver, you pull them, and then like when they have the movement ability, they go flying. So I'll show you what it looks like from the Ryan's point of view. You ready? See how they jump and then they just use look at. <laughs> The Ryan doesn't even know! I love that. Honestly, like, that is that play is just so amazing to me. Because that, that the Ryan doesn't even see them. Yeah. Yeah. The Ryan doesn't even see him. Just goes in and hopes. Oh, I love that. That's great. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to all three YouTubes if you haven't. Uh, a lot of awesome videos on there. If you want to submit your own funny moment or spectating or play the games, etc. Look in the description below. You'll see my Discord and once you can join it there. We also record these live on stream. You can see the, the Twitch chat right below the webcam right there. Stop by if you haven't. We have a lot of fun here. And with that being said, I hope you all have an amazing day slash night.